Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for July 13th through to the 23rd. Virgo, let's see what is on the cards for you. And your message begins with, don't let your past hold you back. I've got the South Node card here. Now, Virgo, if you know anything about astrology and you have your natal birth chart, the South Node is where we're not supposed to be journeying uh, in this lifetime, right? Because that's what you were doing in your direct past life. So you might want to check out the house and sign that you have in your South Node. But either way, the message is clear. There's something from your past that you might be projecting into a current situation, whether it's, um, you know, how past relationships have gone, whether it's how money and work has, has um, you know, progressed for you. This is saying it's time to approach this from a clear slate and not bring that energy into the current situation. Okay, Virgo, let's get you a major arcana to see what theme you are working with and I have for you oh the Emperor yes Aries energy coming through now the Emperor is this energy of power and really taking control of your situation and, and your life like the Emperor is not going to let the past hold them back right because they are being strategic calculated making moves laying a strong foundation now the Emperor could uh, indicate here that you're trying to make a move in building your empire, whether that is building a home or taking the next step in career or an entrepreneurial activity. This is saying, you know what, if you focus in this present moment and don't let your past hold you back, you can become a powerful, powerful emperor. All right, let's get your cards out, Virgo. And I have been having a bit of a rant this week. Um, some of you might have seen my post on the community page, but I did recently take a, a week off and um, my channel pretty much <laughs> is completely in the toilet and I'm starting from scratch uh, and before the the weeks before that I had posted less because um, I was involved in a really big festival and I had pre-scheduled my content and there's only so much of that I can create with my normal workload which was around 12 to 14 hours a day for months um, so please do like share and comment on these videos to keep your your favorite content create creators going um, myself and others you know are included in that because you know that's it's engagement first the algorithm works on engagement so if you don't engage with the content then basically the content doesn't get any reach the creator um, if they are earning their income from this like me cannot sustain and those channels will disappear and I've been making that decision for myself actually whether this platform is in alignment with me so please do uh, engage with my content and I will see if I can stick around. We will see how that how that works out. But can you just see these cards, Virgo? Wow, you've got double kings and an emperor. Hanged man, it's kind of in reverse. I'll take that into consideration when I read it. You've got a lot of like powerful uh, energy coming through and there's an element of, you know, maturity when the that's in reverse too <laughs> i'll leave that one in reverse for reading it because no one likes a five of pentacles in the upright so what i see here is somebody who is trying to better their position when it comes to um specifically money but it's linked to i think your your work career situation here so you know we have two kings and an emperor it feels like there are powerful moves that you can make and the energy here is about getting unstuck virgo when it comes to you know when it comes to your money all right now i've got the the king of wands here in this situation with the queen of pentacles so many of the court cards here which are the people cards their energies or they might be people around you but the situation is that you are trying to um, make a future financial moves here to set yourself up to set your family up and lay that firm foundation so that might be that you're addressing work career and you're trying to make the the next move there or it might be that you're looking to invest in um, you know to, to invest money or maybe you've realized that the employee path is never going to get you where you want so you're stepping into an entrepreneurial path here the king of wands and the emperor are classic entrepreneurial energies and the king of wands says that you're being asked to be a visionary and to look forward into the future about you know what things will receive the growth like what career or entrepreneurial activities are going to be future proof proofed are going to be solid are going to be stable are going to grow and flourish okay that's what i'm seeing here 
And the Queen of Pentacles says, well, if you, you know, if you pick uh, your direction from that criteria and focus on it and make a plan and, and work that plan, this will grow and this will flourish, right? The Queen of Pentacles um, is also an entrepreneurial card, but it's also using that entrepreneurial uh, result to build beautiful house and home as well, beautiful family life. And because she links to Capricorn energy, which is the devil and the major arcana, I always say when she comes through, like she's danced with the devil, refocused her energies, and she is forging forward from that place. So you might have even had um, a debt situation in the past, or maybe you've had some lack or scarcity or a loss, like Five of Pentacles in reverse, like you might still be recovering from that. It feels like you can you know, you, you can refocus and you can rebuild from there. Now, the King of Swords is in the uh, challenge position here. It's an Aquarius energy. Leo was the uh, was the King of Wands. Now, um, in the... Let's just get the clarifier. Oh, Ace of Swords. Beautiful. So, in the, uh, the, the obstacle position here, the King of Swords is about seeing the big picture. So, you're being asked to not just look, you know, either through sort of a tunnel vision or not just looking at the now, you have to expand your view here. And it, that might mean that the decisions that you make now um, are for a greater good decisions, right? And it could be with the Queen of Pentacles that you're actually lining things up and planting seeds that might not flourish immediately, but they're longer term, they're longer term, but then the result will be far greater. So you're being asked to delay gratification and to really, you know, firm up that foundation, okay? And there could be some decisions, like the King of Swords can be a decision card here. There could be some decisions around money or around the direction that need to be made because the Ace of Swords is sometimes an idea, is an inspiration, it is a breakthrough, and it is a victory. And Spirit is saying that you can get to that financial victory and take a, a financial quantum leap forward by looking at the big picture and that real future direction. Now, the advice hanged man, and that was in reverse as well. Um, so the advice for getting unstuck here, again, there's this element of gaining clarity on the direction ahead, okay, and just making sure that there's no sort of dreamy energy around this, but you're actually following through with tangible action as well. Now, um, the advice is also to focus on Three of Cups, what brings you joy, because when um, there's joy behind your work, then naturally the abundance really does flow here. Um, but the Three of Cups says that, you know, if you make those clear decisions from that place of the future view, then you will get the harvest because the Three of Cups is also about celebrating the harvest and celebrating the results. Now, sometimes with the Hanged Man energy, there is something to release or let go of in order to get that growth. So because I feel like this is very much around work, career, finance, um, for example, you might be needing to let go of a job that even though you like and it might have some sense of comfort and, hey, look, it might actually be kind of easy, you know, you'll need to move out of your comfort zone um, into something more challenging, something with more responsibility and accountability to go to the next level. That's one example of release. For others of you, you're being asked to get a laser focus on all of your outgoings, okay? Like subscriptions to apps that just tick over that you don't see coming out. Like there might be um, better ways to pay off debt, to consolidate it, make sure that you're not, you know, paying um, accounts late so that you don't get that sort of um, you know, those early bird discounts and all of that kind of thing, that is going to be your key. And sometimes we need to accept that we have to let go of some things that might bring us that instant gratification in order to overcome a five of pentacles situation. So Virgo, five of pentacles in reverse is an indication that you can break the cycle of lack that maybe you've experienced in your past, and it could be that, you know, handed down from your parents, like you heard your parents say money doesn't grow on, tr on, on trees, like money is the root of all evil, or we don't have enough money for that, really imprinting into you from a young age that, that there's not enough, and that there's lack and scarcity, but I feel that you are the one through this visionary energy and these uh, emperor moves that can really 
get things growing again and can overcome that cycle. Ten of Pentacles, isn't that uncanny? Um, you're headed for the Ten of Pentacles, which is such an abundant, blessed life. It's funny, isn't it? Because um, Virgo, when I saw the Queen of Pentacles, I talked about, you know, building this beautiful, balanced house and home and family situation. And the Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate realization of that. It's through this journey. This is not about money, right? Money is the vehicle to freedom, to maybe an early retirement, to buying that family home, to adding pets or children to your home because you've got the financial resources to do so, relocating to somewhere that you really, really love. So it's not about money, but it's absolutely okay to focus on money as the vehicle to freedom because money equates to choices and money equates to freedom and so many people think that it's you know a negative force but it absolutely isn't but you have to treat it with respect so i just see an incredible journey um you know from lack to abundance here from beggar to emperor a powerful powerful breakthrough but of course it takes action it takes vision and it really takes some mature moves here of the king and emperor energy. But once you make a lot of little tweaks, they add up to really big change here. So Virgo, you can change your luck, you can change your money story here, and ultimately you can end up at a beautiful Ten of Pentacles reality. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. It was a pleasure to read for you. Please remember to like, share, comment. I would really, really appreciate that. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, if you're a regular listener, but you haven't subscribed, it's really important as well. Thank you so much. I'm sending you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.